Hey everyone, we are looking at Transformers Part 1 quest and the first one up is Collect Transformer Tokens. 13 in total, they look just like this. It's the Autobot sign and you're wanting to either run through it or drive a vehicle through it. I'd recommend getting a vehicle, you get it done a lot quicker. And the area that you're wanting to go to for this is southwest of Brutal Bastion to this large frozen lake. And you'll get the first two there, then the third one's out on the outskirts, and then it's literally a follow-on from there. If you're doing it like I've ended up having to do it a second time because I got distracted doing other stuff, um, once you hit the third and fourth one and you go to the fifth one, you'll actually end up finding a um, motorbike dirt bike sitting waiting on you so getting on to that will certainly speed it up because from here it will then take you down into some of the new area where it gets a bit muddy and a bit slippy and slidey so it gets a bit more fun um, and it is a long run I'm not going to lie, it'll take a couple of minutes potentially, um, especially if you're maybe having to try and figure out your way if you haven't been into this area before, like I had, this was the first of me coming into it, so I was a wee bit weary in some of the twists and turns in it, just didn't want to come off the bike and end up having to do the rest of it on foot, and again, new area, it's going to be very busy with other players, so you know, be very careful. Dirt bike's probably the best one to pick up if you can, and um, when you hit the frozen lake, it's maybe even easier just grab one of the big wheeled vehicles and use that for it um, and you can always switch over to the dirt bike if you feel the need to but the big wheels should be reasonably okay for this and that's this one i'll show you in a second the full route and i'll show you it all comes down south from where we pick up the first token The next one is a three stage quest and we'll show you all three back to back. It's travel distance in a vehicle or mounted. Mounted is basically where you're either standing on top of it or you're a passenger within it. I've done it in a mix between using a dirt bike and also a, another vehicle. And you can use anything as long as it's got wheels on it. Just drive around the place and eventually you'll get it done. I've cut all three short because the first one is a thousand uh, meters, second one is two thousand meters, and then the final one is four thousand meters. And the last thing you want to do is watch a video which is 10 15 minutes long and it's me driving six thousand meters in vehicles. Um, so I've just cut it down to kind of the last couple of seconds that shows you. And that's it for this one, we'll move on to the next one after. So one of the easier ones here, a moat after destroying a gas can or a gas pump. There are four locations on the map. I'm going to Slappy Shores just up here on the right hand side simply because it's a wee bit more out of the way. It's lesser used compared to some of the new areas. There are four pumps there. Um, just all you have to do is shoot them till you hear the kind of whining noise and then it'll explode. Emote straight afterwards and you'll complete it. Um, I'm saying it's lesser used but then somebody turns up who have had to fight and kill. But this is an easy one to do out of the rest of acquire a Cybertron cannon in different matches. You need to get three of these, which means you need to pick up one in three games. Um, you can take as many games as you need to get the three, but you could, it only counts once if you pick them up multiple times in a single game. It's a bit more of a hard one, this one, because it takes a lot of time to get this done. Creaky Compound is supposedly a really good location for them. You can find them lying on the ground, pick them up from dead players, dropped from a teammate, or get them out of a chest. Um, I never found any in this place, but as you can see through the next three videos, parts of this, I've actually gotten them from killing dead players very in and around and close to Creaky Compound, so it may just be that I've been exceptionally unlucky and not gotten to any of the places where they are beforehand. Um, but if you play the game long enough you should come across them either lying around from dead players or actually from players that you kill yourself which makes it a little bit easier it's just going to be time consuming to get it done and if you get it done quite quickly then fantastic well done um, and we'll move on to the next quest now The final quest for Transformers Part 1 is damage opponents with the kinetic boomerang. I wasn't too sure about this weapon at first until I started doing the Transformer quest and I absolutely love it. 
Um, I had quite a lot of kill streaks with this, even after I completed the missions. Um, it's a really nice snazzy weapon to use. You know, the throwing it, it coming back. So you can, if you get it past somebody, it's going to hit them through damage. And if you get them on the way back, it'll do additional damage again, as you can see here. Um, also, I was quite lucky a guy was carrying one of the cannons, which I needed for the quest. Total of 500 will complete this one for you as well. All right, guys, this is part one done. Uh, drop a like in the video. Comments down below. Subscribe to the channel so you're kept in the for all completion guides going forward in Fortnite, including reviews. Bye-bye.